Welcome back, fellow YouTube's Multicular Joe, signing in for an, a new episode of The Walking Dead. Part 2 to Episode 1. Thank you very much for joining me in this. Sorry well, about that. I had to check on something. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Sorry for the pauses. Won't happen anymore. Look. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Oh god. Oh god. Nope, they're not friendly. Run! Run, motherfucker, run, motherfucker, run! We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We're okay. They're dangerous. Just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. So They've got Clem kids, done. Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? That guy's dad, a dickweed. It's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then 
Once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. Go, go, go! Save the little girl. Come on, come on, come on. God damn. You okay? Yeah, I'm gonna turn the subtitles off. It seems to be messing settings. Audio graphics controls gameplay. Resume the game. No more interruptions, I swear. Try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. It's the fact because his family's here. Everyone else should get <laughs> comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Grab it. Grab it. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. <laughs> what are you messing around with there? A radio. 
I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. Sure. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Thank you. Of course. We just need to get back to... It's not much, but here. There you the go. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. <clears throat> I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with the sitter. It wasn't good. No, well, it was a sorority she's party. Lucky to have <laughs> Just joking. What do you think about all this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, There's a lot to think about and it. turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. I can't. 
can't think about them in here. This door leads to the back alley. came in here hoping to survive but it looks like one poorly <laughs> trying to be a hero maybe or a protector at least <sighs> I'm so sorry Lee man Find anything? Just a picture. Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Gotta get rid of this. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Of I'll course you can help. Doors. How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Love you, Clement Tom. You're fun. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? No. Let's just move this thing. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're, because dead. they're dead. It's okay, Clint. Um, I know you're a little kid and you don't know. Oh. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got some trouble, but keep it between I us. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This I'm gonna tell this little girl the truth to the end. Let's just keep that between you and me, okay? 
Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. You're a sweet little girl. Ow! Oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's there get this you go. cut covered up. Yes, please. There you go, Clementine. I'll take care of you. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Yeah, no they'll track us down to the end yeah. of the world. Okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. That's what I figured. <laughs> okay, enough of that. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. How's your thing? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Just for I'm you, gonna keep looking down. around. Okay. Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. I'm oh. gonna be honest to her today. Was he bad? He was. Trying to get some rest, huh? How can I with those things out there? Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed.
Oh god. I I'm gonna be sick. I already am eat. sick. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah. I Damn agree. straight it's on him. Figure out how to get out there and get them. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was yep. in the TV. It's true. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. Go to the screen, retards. I can't reach that brick. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. Let's head back inside. Okay. Come on, buddy. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. Okay. Okay, got another battery. And here's another one. There. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go I've ahead. got it.
There we go. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE yes. you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, God bless you all. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Oh shit. Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard... Gotta go save her. Inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can't. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god, this isn't going to be easy now, is it? I'm gonna try to talk more when there aren't cutscenes. Okay, this is the plan. You don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Grabbing that. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. Go, 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 go. gonna do with that I don't really know do you have any tricks for getting into cars not without tools or making a bunch of noise and none with pillows Ow. hey man that drew some attention be careful okay that's not gonna work Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay there we right go. Behind me. That was sick. <laughs> We're coming for you, survivor. We're coming, darling. Just give me a couple minutes. It's a spark thing. Spark plug. 
You should hold on to that. Come in handy. Boing! It's awesome! You damn right it's awesome. I'm multi motherfucking killer Joe. I'm coming! Just give me a little bit. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Run, 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 run. Keep going. Gotcha. We get him. Gotcha, bitch. Good Hi. die. Good die. For sure. <laughs> Good die. Get it. Dead. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. I'm coming, I'm coming, darling. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. bit faster. Gotcha. Man. Dead rat. I'm coming in. Give me a minute. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what I told you I said go away I'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine I won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend Glenn. I don't want that it's not Christian please <laughs> just leave me please go Come with us, we'll Come help. With us. We'll find you some help. 
You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. You we can't, can't let you gun. do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! No, 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 Dear Lord. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Damn. Oh my god. Glenn. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, jeez. Fucking girl killed herself and I worked my ass off to save her. Here they come! Get in! Everyone alright? Yeah, we no. had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and, well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay. Let's go. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yep. Let's have a look around. Okay. Open sesame. <laughs> not gonna work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know. I wish it was universal. <laughs> Okay. You're right, buddy. I know where this is going. Eh. Exactly. The time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you?
Forgive me, brother, for I have sinned. Oh, fucking A. Just fucking die already. Damn. Already did my dramatic thing. Now die. Fucking. Man. Come on. Die. In the head, bro. There. You should be dead now. Jeez. Die already. Nobody wants you around. Let's fucking die. There we go. Holy crap! Run! <laughs> run, Lee, run! Man, that was close. But we did it. That's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. There we go. Gotta hurry. God damn it, every time I do something great, something bad happens. And this was the story of one female zombie. Never mind. <laughs> Doc, come on, give me time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Grab it! Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that... You're a great guy. We will make it through this! <laughs> Doc, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Close the goddamn door. Fuck. Hurry up, Glenn. A window is screwed. Go. Come on, come on, come on, D. I'm using I'm using my mode control. Thank you, dear. Yeah. I love you, Kang. <laughs> Doug or her. Doug or her. She's the one who trusts me. But Doug did help with the universal TV. I'm going for her. Her. Save her, save her, save her, save her. I had to save her. Doug! Oh, God! Doug! Oh, my God. Let's go! 
We're coming, Kenny. I got Doug. <laughs> Motherfucker! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Get off! Get off! Run, Clem, run! I got him! Run, 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 run! No! No! You bastard! I got you the medicine! You son of a fuck! No, 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 no. Kenny! I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Bro, you are my brother in law. Alright, well, in arms, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's go, 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 close the door. Damn. I think I need to go. Okay. Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your, Find friends. your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Love you, Glenn. Love you like a butter. It's okay, man. Everybody's got a hungry heart. <laughs> Kenny. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Love you, man. Can't talk to her, what the fuck? How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Okay, Carly. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. 
you picked me. I was going to help you both. <laughs> I would have helped, helped me them first. Both. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. He's what looking at me awful, awfully weird. You know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. So? It can't really help us. But, I know. It's just, I need it. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go do <sighs> Larry. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a dick. Larry, you're a dick. You go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. Thanks. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me or it's too. the sound of us going crazy. It's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> As they say that. To be continued. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Hi, Hi. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! No more, please. No more, please. please. God. <laughs> this was Multi Killer Joe playing The Walking Dead. Multi Killer Joe signing out. See you guys for a whole new journey next time in episode 2.